All right. From zero to the, f the first point, is it labeled? No. But I know that this has to be the length uh, from zero to three partitioned into two equal parts. So this would be three, that's the numerator, and it's partitioned into two equal parts. So each one of these uh, equal space points is worth three halves. Three halves, this would be six halves. If I kept on going, this would be nine halves. This would be 12 halves. And what's six divided by two? It's three. So therefore, each one of these is three halves, or one and a half, or 1.5. All right? That means on the negative side, this would be negative three halves. On the negative side, it simply um, means the opposite of whatever the positive side is. So this is the opposite of uh, three halves right here. This is the opposite of three. This would be the opposite of negative nine halves. This would be the opposite of, sorry, the opposite of nine halves would be negative nine halves. The opposite of 12 halves would be negative 12 halves. And I can keep on going on forever in that direction and forever in that direction. Okay, uh, we want to determine the value of what each point is worth. Therefore, we first have to start at zero and see that, okay, it's a length of 10 being partitioned into one, two, three equal pieces. So each one of these is 10 thirds, or three and one third. Uh, then it would be 20 thirds, 30 thirds, and 30 divided by three is 10. Therefore, we know this is correct. That means this would be negative 10 thirds, negative 20 thirds, negative 30 thirds, and 30 divided by 3 is 10, and I'm taking the opposite of that, which is negative 10, and that's why it works out. All right, uh, let's see if you can do this next one on your own. What is the value of each, each point in this? And we'll come back in a second. All right. Okay, so we know it's a length of 5 being partitioned into two equal pieces. So this is 5 halves. That means this would be 10 halves. This would be 15 halves. This would be 20 halves. And a 10 divided by 2 is 5, so you know that every one of these points is worth 5 halves, or 2 and a half, or 2.5. All right, this would be negative 5 halves, negative 10 halves, which is negative 5, negative 15 halves, and I can keep on going on. All right, these next couple of uh, questions actually require us to use the uh, definition of greater than and less than. Greater than means to the right, less than means to the left, okay? So which point, A, B, or C, is greater than negative 7.5? Let's see, I don't see negative 7.5 here. So I first have to determine what each point is worth, because not every point is labeled. All right, uh, this is a length of 15 partitioned into two equal pieces, one, two equal pieces. Therefore, each one of these is 15 halves, or, let's do the work over here, change to a mixed number, goes into it, zero, seven, 14, one, so seven and a half. Each one of these is worth seven and a half. So that means this would be 15, this would be 22.5, 22 and a half, and this would be 30, okay? And that checks out. All right, so this would be, this point right here would be negative 7.5 right here. This would be negative 15 and so on. All right, so the question is asking us which point is greater than negative 7.5? We first have to locate negative 7.5. Negative 7.5 is right there. And greater than means to the right, so we're going to draw an arrow. So I know it cannot be A, all right? But less than 7.5. First find 7.5. That's right there and less than means to the left. I know that point C is not to the left of, of 7.5. 7.5 is point C. So the only answer that fits this is B. All right, let's go to the next one. Plot and label negative six on the number line below. Hmm, okay. I know this is the length from zero to negative nine. Uh, let's just think of it right now from uh, as length from 0 to negative 9, therefore I know it's going to f one point is going to be uh, 
negative 9 partitioned into, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equal pieces. And negative 9 6 uh, is also uh, simplified to 3 halves. So negative 3 halves. This would be negative 18 6. Negative 18 uh, 6 uh, is negative 3. So therefore, uh, the first point is negative 3 and a half, which would be negative 1 and a half. Sorry, negative 3 halves. Uh, so it would be negative 1 and a half, negative 3, negative 4 and a half, negative 6, and there's negative 6 right there. Or if you want to keep on going with the fractions, you'd have negative 27 thirds, negative 36, I'm sorry, negative 9 6, negative 18 6. Oh, this is 6, that's why. That's why I made the little error there. Negative 36 6, and 36 divided by 6 is 6, and we're taking the opposite of that, which is negative 6. So that's negative 6 on the number line. Okay. Um, you can look at the rest of these and simply figure out right here what point A, B, and C actually are. Okay? This would be 5 partitioned into 1, 2, 3, 4 equal pieces. So this is 5 fourths, 10 fourths, 15 fourths. 20 fourths and 20 divided by 4 is 5. All right, so that would be 15 fourths. Keep on going. 25 fourths, 30 fourths, 35 fourths, 35 fourths if you want it as a mixed number. Would be 8 and 3 fourths. Point B, 15 divided by 4. would be 3 and 3 fourths and let's go to point A negative 10 fourths because it's just the opposite and let's see what that is negative 10 fourths can be simplified into 8 halves sorry 5 halves so let's do 5 divided by 2 you get negative two and a half right here or negative 2.5 all right i hope you enjoyed that and uh we'll see you on the next video